review of the Zero Brand Bronze PLA. I had a uh, subscriber send this to me, want me to try this out. And uh, I've been wanting to try out the Zero Brand for a while now, but I haven't had a chance to, so this was a perfect chance to. Uh, I love these clear spools. It is so hard sometimes when you get to the bottom of a spool to find out how much you have. You'll have to go by weight or tracking, which I've started tracking mine with RFID now. So I can keep an eye on how much is in my spools. But still, that is so nice to see how much you have and how well it's wound. Uh, Postal Service did a little bit of a number on the spool. Broke the corner here. But that's not Zero's fault. That's... It's postal service, but it still works. It doesn't tangle. I had to clear a little bit of plastic out, but that's not them. Uh, nice clear packaging. With everything on it. One thing I do like about it, they include a resealable bag with it in the box. That's a really, really nice touch that hardly anybody else does. It came vacuum sealed, which is really good. But it also came with a reusable bag, which is even better. All right, first off, it calls for temperatures of 190 to 220. In my test, it covers from 190 all the way to 230 without much problems. It got a little bad at 230, about 225. So, and on my system, it ran great at 205 to 210. Really good bridging. I really liked it. Done a really good job. The uh, benchy test, couple retraction errors there that could be adjusted out, not a problem. I run one default benchy for everything, so I don't change the files for anything. So if you see a benchy, it's the exact same file. All I do is I change the heat, and that is it. So I can look at every single benchy and tell how well it the uh, filament did just by looking at that one file. So, I really like that color. Add a little bit to retraction. That'll solve that. Of course, the mandatory Cute Dragon. Came out really, really good. I do like the shine on that. One of the things I printed on purpose was a large owl. I really like the way this came out. It, the texture on it hides any layer lines very well. Printed out really, really good. I'm going to have to start getting some more of their filament in, especially some of the brighter colors. I really want to figure out which color that is because that looks absolutely beautiful. This was my review of the Zero brand. I've done quite a few prints playing around with this so far. It runs really good. The winding's really good for it. Really good filament for the price. I love these spools. I can't say that enough. I love to be able to see how much we have when you're using it. Thanks for watching the review. If you like it, hit a like, comment. I love to answer comments. I love the interaction. Have a good day.